Okay, so just put those two sides in. Obviously without glass and stuff, and it looks really cool. I've always wanted a set of these sides. Um, and uh, although it's not quite done, we're slowly getting there. Okay, so I'm just fitting the window runners now. Um, you fit them with these little screws, they're all new. And essentially they have like a, a hole in there already. And where the screws came out when I took out the original ones, that's fine, but some of the screws uh, didn't come out on the, on the top side here, so I'm gonna have to either drill more or I'm actually thinking about just uh, sticking them in place because um, they don't need to be stuck, you know, screwed in place there, and it just means another another hole in the um, in the frame. So I think I'll just stick them in place instead. Okay, so I've got the first window done, which is the left-hand side. Um, I uh, screwed the, the top runners in uh, using the, the new screws, um, but I stuck the, the bottom runners in. So, um, oh, they, they, they work really nicely. Um, nice, smooth slide there. I've got to do the, the end panels here. Um, there's this small panel here, which which I took out beforehand and, and didn't paint with the rest of it, so I'll have to paint that. It's like a stopper panel. Um, so I have to paint that again at some point, uh, maybe even today. <clears throat> but I'm gonna put it into the car now and uh, finish the, the sides off once it's in the car. I was just going to put the top on, but I realised that this last section here is sort of a bit out of a bit out of alignment, and I realised there's actually a um, a missing rivet there. So I'm just going to put that last that missing rivet in. Okay, so that is much better. Sits nice and flush now, and that's back in. So on these new side panels, all of the seals are missing. Uh, last video, I took the seals off the old sides and put them on the new ones, but then realized when I was putting it back in that there are <clears throat> little seals here, uh, top and bottom of this pillar actually, which I am now, well, I've just taken off this old panel here. They're actually glued in, but I haven't got any of that special glue, so I'm just gonna uh, push them in. But this side, you can see that the, the remnants of the old seal is still in there, so I'm just getting that out, and then I'll be able to push this one. Okay, so I've cleaned out that old seal <coughs> that was in there, and um, <coughs> oh, excuse me, and pushed that new one down in there, and it's clamped in there quite well, so I think that's going to be fine without any glue. So uh, I'll do that to the other four corners, and um, and also I've got to rivet in these these seals which I took off the the old roof panels. As okay, well. so I'm just fitting these rear seals uh, to the door frame, and yeah, just. Unfortunately, the, um, the the existing holes don't line up with the, the holes on the on the new panels, but that's fine. So I'm, I'm uh, drilling new holes into the, or I've drilled new holes into the the seal, and just 
putting the rivets in as I go down. Um, be that side <clears throat> with a little bit of an overlap here. You can see that's exactly how it was before, and no overlap here because this this seal overlaps that seal. And um, yeah, do that both sides. Oops. Okay, so that seals in. Um, it all seems to be fine. Bit of a damage there to the um, to the seal, but actually, I'll probably end up there's damage there as well to that one. Um, but I'll end up getting some new seals at some point, I'm sure. But that'll be fine. I'm not exactly planning to to drive in lots of rain, so um, that should be fine. Guys, I thought I'd give you a little bit of an update on the car just to see how we're getting on. Um, I do quite a few videos of uh, very specific things on it, but um, yeah, I thought I'd give you a bit of a walk around today and see how we're getting on. So, yesterday I was working on the sides, the new side panels that I've bought, uh, which take quite a long time. Uh, there's quite a lot to do. So what I've been doing is uh, putting in these new runners here. Uh, the, the bottom ones I decided to stick um, purely because I'm not really planning to take it out in the rain. Uh, I haven't sealed anything here, they're basically, I don't know if you can see that, but they're basically just stuck in there. I might end up drilling some, drilling some new holes and putting the screws in. I do have the new screws for both sides on the runners. Up the top I did, oops, I don't know if you can see that, but up the top I already um, screwed those in for obvious reasons. I've got a small panel that needs to go into there, I need to paint that today, um, that panel there. On the other side, uh, which isn't there, the other side it stayed in when um, when I took the, uh, the the glass out. So I don't don't know why that did, but that's fine. I'll just paint it. Uh, it's been painted actually uh, when I painted the uh, the side. So otherwise, um, what can I tell you? Putting all these seals in, uh, I've taken those off the panels that I that I had before. There's quite a few seals actually. There's the top one, the main one, the bottom one, the side one. Uh, there are two small corner seals up here and down here. You can just see them just in there. Um, from the factory, these are all stuck in, but um, you know, I haven't actually got the right glue to stick them in with, and on the basis that this, for example, is never going to part from here once it's fixed, um, I'll just, just, just lay them in there. It'll be fine. Um, the, the glue doesn't act as a sealant in any way, it's just sort of dabbed on, bit there, bit there, bit there and bit there from the factory. And it's actually quite easy to remove. So that's that one coming on. Um, I've, I've got a, a solution which I think, um, which I'm going to try. Um, these are the catches which go in here and they're quite rare and if you do ever find them on eBay or wherever, uh, they are quite expensive and more often than not they're missing that small ball bearing in there which actually this one's this one's seized at the moment um, that acts as the little locking mechanism on the runner that goes along the top of the the window and a couple of mine are missing so what I'm planning to do is put this one in here I've got a plan so what I'm gonna I'm gonna try I, I'm gonna get a bit of rod um, and I'm going to fit it into a drill and I'm going to use a file to shape it um, I'm thinking actually at the moment one of those little IKEA uh, pegs which you use in all of their in all of their um, cheap shelving. I'm going to machine that down and see if I can make one up. And if that works, then I'll do it for the missing ones in in um, in the in the two on this side. Two 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 are there on that side, and they're missing on this side. So yeah, what else am I doing? I did a little bit of cleaning up yesterday. Once I've got the side panels off, or now that I've got the side panels off, I should say. Um, amazing how much dust comes from, from cleaning these sides. Um, I lubricated the, uh, the seat belts yesterday. For some reason, when I was cleaning it, I got loads of this sort of red colored paint, which is all along the outside here. You can still see some of it here. So I don't know what happened there. Might have been when I lent my Land Rover to my sister uh, when she went to, I don't know, Glastonbury or some kind of a, a VW meet that um, Something might have happened, I don't know, or maybe it was my dad, or I don't know, but it um, seems to be quite a lot of red paint, so if either of them, or at least my sister, if she knows, then maybe she could tell me. Anyway, no big deal. So today I'm going to clean up a little bit in here, because when I put it together in the summer, 
I sort of threw it together really. There's no sealant in this gap along here, which I've got to do. A um, couple of bolts missing here and here. Um, so I'm going to clean that up a little bit today. But no, you know, I'm not going to repaint anything. As you can see, the whole car is pretty much original. Uh, other than underneath, everything's new, but I've, I haven't repainted this. There was a decision that I made when I was putting it all back together. If, you know, my family asked me, are you gonna, are you gonna paint it? But, um, and I did think about it, and sometimes I still do think about it, but actually what I've done is, if you've seen in other videos, I've removed some of the um, dents, well, in fact, as many as I can, but the remnants of those dents are still there. And the reason why I'm doing that is sort of slightly nostalgic, really, because um, every, every dent is a story, really, apart from that, which is just flaking off, flaking paint, and this is a bit of corrosion here, which I might need to treat at some point. But this dent, for example, that was um, uh, when a friend of mine, uh, he had a, a four-track, uh, and we were racing around his field uh, one sunny Saturday afternoon, and we ended up racing towards the gate to get out of the paddock, and uh, his brakes didn't work quite as well as mine, and he crashed into the side of mine, which was in itself quite a funny story, but... Uh, uh, but anyway, uh, another story. Um, so there are, there are just stories around the whole thing, because obviously when I got it, it was perfect. It had a new new paint job and obviously no dents, because it was a sort of a part restoration. I think, I can't remember what this one is here. It's quite a long scratch all the way down the side. I think that might have been my dad when, we, when he parked it in the garage. We had, um, uh, back in the UK, we had the, uh, we still have them. Uh, converted stables into a garage which meant we sort of widened the stable door but it was still quite tight and that's where I used to park the Land Rover when I when I used to use it and I think he must have got it you know, caught it along the side or something like that but some of these are from my from my dad uh, some of them are from me some of them might even be from my sister um, I can't remember but I, I decided to leave it this one here I'll see if I can find a photograph of it but this is when I crashed um, this car after owning it for about two weeks. And I completely um, ruined this front bumper. I, uh, I crashed in the, in the center of town uh, near to where I live, um, which was um, uh, quite unfortunate really. No, it was, you know, no, no drink driving or anything strange like that. It just, it just happened because of uh, unforeseen circumstances. And, um, and this is the only real remnants of that crash where, where, the, where the bumper literally, because I crashed into three bollards, um, bent in there and pushed that up. Um, so that has a story, and that, so that's basically the decision behind uh, leaving the paint as it is. I don't know, maybe at some point I will, um, I will repaint it. Uh, it'd be quite a fun thing to do, but um, that's, that's how it is at the moment. Uh, what else can I tell you? Um, so other things, so this is just stripping off the, the parts I need for the um, for, you know, for this new side panel. That's what I'm gonna be doing today as well. I'm hoping to button up the, the side panels because it is taking quite a long time. And although it's a, an aesthetic feature, it's actually not, you know, I could have put the car through the MOT with those sides and done it later, but I thought oh, I'll just do it all at once. Um, otherwise, uh, that's the back panel, the rear flap for when I, for when I um, take the roof off in the summer, but I haven't got the, uh, the, the connect, you know, the, um, I can't remember what they're called, the little catches which go left and right. Uh, I've got them, they're in the, the box just back there, but I just need to fit them. Um, so there's a, there's a whole bunch of things. I fitted this rubber mat some time ago, which was, uh, which is, you know, just helps with noise and dirt and stuff like that, because it's when you're driving around with basically what is a, a tin can, uh, anything you can do to, to help the noise is, um, is, is a benefit because it's quite loud on the inside of that car when you're driving. Otherwise, wheels are looking good. I've still got to try and sort out the issue with the springs. You can see that the car still sits, I don't know if you can, if you can tell, but it still sits wonky. It, you know, it sort of, it sort of sits down on the left-hand side, or this, this side, the driver's side, um, because of the springs. And I'm, I'm currently in um, conversation with paddock spares at the moment because I bought a, a full set of new parabolic springs from them and um, this is the second set and they still sag so I don't know I hope I can get it sorted um, but we'll see uh, that 
they're starting to play a little bit hardball at the moment because they said, oh, you've had them for so long and they're out of warranty. But, um, you know, but if, if we can't get it sorted, I, you know, I, I, I can't really see an alternative other than just for asking my money back, for my money back, because they're, they're not really fit for purpose. The, the issue as I see it is that because of the extra weight on this driver's side, the fuel tank, the transfer case, the drive shaft and so on, um, the springs, they can't handle it on one side and they, they dip. Um, the original Land Rover springs and other parabolic spring manufacturers make left and right handed springs. The right handed springs or the driver's side, offside springs, are slightly stronger than the passenger side. So that compensates for the weight and it just sort of brings it up like that. Um, but the parabolics from uh, paddock spares are, I think they're DME, DME springs, because I've spoken to them as well about the problem and they don't recognize it, is that they're not handed. They're the same strength uh, either side. And I think that is, is the, the issue that we've got here. But as I say, I'll let you know, I'll give you an update later on uh, if we can get that sorted. Because a full set, um, I think was about 300 quid. And if I buy them from another manufacturer who do handed springs, which, I'm, which I think at the moment is the only thing to do, I will, um, I will. I'll have to fork out quite a bit of money to get that uh, to get that sorted, which is um, a bit of a pain, a bit of a pain, uh, basically. So hopefully, I can either get a refund or they can supply me with a different set. Um, but that's one of the last things I, I really need to do on this car to to get it sorted. The other thing is it's running a bit rich at the moment. Um, the Weber carburetor, which is completely refurbished, as you'll you'll see in a, a, another video, um, it's still it's very temperamental. Um, you can set it up so it works well in, in cold weather and then it, it runs well. Then as soon as the weather starts getting a bit warmer like it is now, it, uh, it starts running rich. So at the moment I'm, I'm sort of tinkering with it. I, I don't know if it is, is entirely down to the, the carburetor or not, but um, uh, I might have to take it apart again. Maybe there's a part which I didn't refurbish, which I should have done. But um, I just have to monitor that because obviously it won't get through the MOT if it's, if it's running too rich. And it also doesn't drive very well and it stinks. So um, I don't know what the problem is there. I'll have to find out. But otherwise, that is the update for today. Um, I'll do a little update after I've, I've done some more work, maybe a time-lapse video. And um, what else is happening in here? Um, nothing really in here. Um, can't think of anything. Yeah, um, that's that. Yeah, so I'll, I'll do a, a time-lapse video and, um, and show how we get on later today. Okay, so I've got the glass in on that final side panel. Um, I've had to tape up these, uh, these seals just for holding them in place when I flip the, the side over. Uh, as I said, I haven't, haven't glued those in. Um, but uh, I might, I, I'll probably do that. Whoa! I'll probably have to do that. Oh, I almost dropped the side there. That would have been good. Um, I'll probably do that a bit later on. Um, or, or not at all. We'll have to see. Uh, they clamp in there pretty well. So yeah, as I say, I've got the screws in on the top here. Oh, they're quite tight, but that's nice. Uh, the screws in there, you have to really screw them down into the felt and they're sort of, you know, if that was going straight in, the screw holes that are existing sort of onto the side like that. So when you screw it in, it sort of hides the screw into the, into the bottom corner of that, uh, that runner. And that's so, the, so that the, the glass doesn't scrape on the on the screws. It took a bit of bit of time to get them in, 
um, because every time I tested it there was a scrape somewhere but uh, but they're in now and I'm just going to put it on the car. Okay, just packing up now. Uh, I've been working on it for uh, about five hours, I think. Um, just a quick update before I go. Um, so this was really fiddly. Uh, all these little bolts along here, um, up here, uh, it took ages and on the seatbelt uh, arm there, it just took such a long time and it was uh, quite frustrating. I videoed some of it, but um, there's quite a lot of swearing, so I, uh, I um, stopped videoing. But anyway, it's done now, so that's pretty cool. Um, we've got the runners in on this side, uh, on this window, as you saw before, these are all in. All I've got to do now is um, put the uh, put the runners up in, in these, these corners here, and also the same over there. Uh, looking pretty cool, I think, looking pretty cool. It's a it's a big job, actually, you know, I didn't realize, I knew it was gonna be quite a lot of work, but quite, quite so much was, uh, I and mean, it's still not finished, but a um, lot of work doing that, doing that hard top. I've still got to do these windows. I've got to get some sealant for that. Um, got to put on the door and so on. But we're, we're certainly getting there. It was, uh, yeah, as I say, quite fiddly. But um, yeah, that's, I'm going to pack up now and leave it. I'll, I'll carry on next weekend.